How do we learn skilled behaviors? One idea is that brain circuits evaluate performances on a moment-by-moment -moment basis, providing information about better or worse performances that helps guide learning. Although several circuits in the brain have been implicated in performance evaluation, it is not known if a single circuit is sufficient to guide learning of a skilled behavior. Here we tested this idea by manipulating a brain circuit implicated in evaluating vocal performances in songbirds. Songbirds learn an intricate song much in the same way we learn to speak. Young birds imitate the songs of their parents. In zebra finches, this song is composed of a series of short syllables that once learned is produced in a stereotyped manner throughout life. Dopaminergic neurons in the ventral tegmental area of the songbird are thought to play a role in evaluating song performance through their projections into a specialized region of the basal ganglia that is involved in song. Previous studies indicate that the activity of these neurons is suppressed when birds perceive an error in their song and increased when the error is not present. We manipulated the release of dopamine from VTA axons projecting to the vocal basal ganglia using light-sensitive channels as birds naturally sang their song. We measured how birds sang the pitch of a song syllable and then targeted trials when they sang the pitch either higher or lower than average. Rapid measurements of pitch during singing allowed us to manipulate the activity of dopamine axons within a few milliseconds as the birds were still singing the targeted song syllable. We found that manipulating dopamine terminals during singing was sufficient to rapidly and reliably teach birds how to sing the pitch of an individual syllable differently. Increasing dopamine release when birds sing the pitch of a syllable higher than average teaches them to sing that syllable at higher registers in the future, while increasing dopamine when they sing the pitch lower than average teaches them to sing the syllable at lower registers. This indicates that dopamine release positively reinforces performances and is sufficient to guide changes in how birds sing. On the other hand, suppressing dopamine release when birds sing the pitch of syllable higher than average teaches them to sing that syllable at lower registers in the future. Likewise, suppressing dopamine release when they sing the pitch at the lower end of their natural range teaches them to sing that syllable at higher registers in the future. This indicates that suppression of dopamine signals poor performances and teaches the birds to sing the pitch in an opposite way in the future. These findings show that this one evaluation circuit in the brain is sufficient to guide song learning. Our results also show that either increasing or suppressing dopamine signaling during behavior is sufficient to guide learning and that these evaluation signals guide learning in opposite directions by signaling better or worse performances. The dopaminergic system and its projections to the basal ganglia are a deeply conserved circuit in the vertebrate brain. Our results indicate that this ancient circuitry plays a fundamental role in learning skilled behaviors. To learn more about this research, how we manipulated brain circuits in freely behaving songbirds, and the role of performance evaluation in learning skilled behaviors, please see our full research article, A Basal Ganglia Circuit Sufficient to Guide Bird Song Learning, by Lei Zhao et al. at the Neuron homepage. Visit the Roberts Lab website at UT Southwestern or the lab's Twitter page at Roberts Lab. Our research was supported through grants from the National Institutes of Health, the National Science Foundation, and the Klingenstein Simons Neuroscience Scholars Award. Thanks for watching.